I'm back. Here's to the kids that use fictional characters as a way of coping. Here's to the kids that stay up late crying to their favorite characters. Here's to the kids that imagine their favorite characters by their side when they're experiencing bad anxiety in public. Here's to the kids that need works of fiction to keep on surviving. Adding a shout out to adults who cope in this way too. Life doesn't become easy just because you've grown up. That! Tumblr doesn't actually run on code. It's held together by the pure belief in this site. This is why it gets so bugged. That explains a lot. I just had a realization. Vegeta knows what clown means. Saiyans had clowns. Yes, at least one. His name is Vegeta. Wait, him, the king, or the planet? Can I eat myself out of my body? Like astral project into a black hole so my brain stops quivering in my skull and yanking my nervous system around with it? Making cup ramen is a religious experience. Amen. More like ramen. Leafs through salami slices like dollar bills. And do 20 salami slices. Yeah, we good here? Don't say I didn't do anything nice for you. To all trans guys, the F on your birth certificate isn't for female. It's to pay respects. And to all trans women, the M on your birth certificate isn't for male. It's for ma'am. And to all NB friends, F is for fabulous and M is for mambo number five. Bop, 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 bop. Sing? Hmm, must be the curse. Every time something bad happens and refusing to elaborate is my new hobby. I like it. Ancient Greek astrologers be like, Oh yes, a goat. That's not even Tumblr. You just screenshot it Twitter and put it on your Tumblr. How dare you catchy memes? In an alternative timeline, Homestuck is popular in the mainstream and there's Funko Pop figures of all the trolls. Horrible. Risk of variants are Hot Topic exclusives. Screw cool and edgy power-ups. I want to transform like a magical girl with a talking pet. Well, Vebus, do I have some fun fact for you? As it turns out, in those magical girl sequences, there's so much energy going around that if the villain actually tried to interfere instead of just standing around like a fucking goober, they would die. That's how much energy there is in that transformation power-up. It's hardcore as fuck. Why do Americans freak out over us Canadians having bagged milk? Who the fuck bags milk? Who the fuck brings guns into Walmart? Okay, yeah, that's fair. Everyone's gonna fucking know I painted my cutie mark on. The other kid ponies are gonna beat the shit out of me during pony recess, oh god. They're gonna know I'm an imbecile. I am a girl, and I am very preby. Apparently I was not a girl, but I'm still preby. <gasps> Good for you, Pip. I have something truthful to say, but you guys are not gonna like it. Everyone's always talking about how they want to restart the cult of Dionysus and go wild and all, but honestly, the cult of Dionysus already has a modern-day equivalent and everybody hates them. Guys, it's the theater kids. Yeah, I don't think theater kids get ass drunk and kill people, but I don't know, it's been a while. Get a load of this loser who's never been to a cast party. <laughs> Anyone who says they would rather be an Avenger than a Guardian is a fool. The Guardians go on a constant outer space adventures with a talking tree set to 70s dad music. Plus, they all love and would literally die for each other. What do the Avengers do? Assemble for five minutes and get into a Walmart parking lot fight and never see each other again. Fuck you! Thor Ghost wrote this. Yeah, but the catch is with the Guardians, you have to do it all with Chris Pratt. Can't you hear it? The cries of the anguished. Yeah, me neither. I was kidnapped by Underfell Sands and Papyrus. Underfell? God, I wish that were me. Reminder for the House of Dragons fans. Don't name children after any characters until the show is over. Ready yet? Don't name your kids after characters ever. Because that kid is also a person, person. who will one day have friends. And maybe a family of their own. Imagine someone having a grandma named- Hold on, let me just check my uh, House of Dragon character names here. Rhaenyra. Or Alicent. Fucking really? I really wish I was a cat. I'm not built for this capitalist society, but I am built for, like, sleeping 19 hours a day and knocking things over. Says 2022 with the same cadence as scooby dooby doo Hold on, let me try this. 2022. Whoa. What's the standards for the back rooms? Oh, there are so many violations here. The creature that was chasing me was wearing open toe high heels. It what? what? Yeah, who's gonna tell these races that the oldest mermaid lore is actually from Cambodia and not Germany like we were led to believe? Humans all over the world looking at the ocean. What if there was a girl in there? Life hack! Got something you need to do at a certain time every day? 
Start giving your cat a treat right before you do it. You may have trouble remembering, but your cat absolutely will not. That's damn good advice. The cat wrote this. If you ever look up to me, you're wrong. This isn't because I'm short. I'm not short. This is because today I was at a beach and I forgot what sand smelled like, so I decided to stick my nose into the sand and snort. And it went absolutely not excellent. Huge pet peeve in video games is when you can't hold your breath underwater for very long, or it takes a good while to regain your breath above water. Unrealistic. Like, my condolences to the devs for your lack of breath support, but that just could not be me. Yeah, you a frog or perhaps a turtle? I am a saxophone player. Holy shit, they're immortal. Anti-revenge narrative this, anti-revenge narrative that. I personally think that Inigo Montoya had the right idea when he stabbed Count Rugen in the gut and said, I want my father back, you son of a bitch. Yeah, a lot of revenge arcs end with the hero saying, there's nothing you can do to bring my loved one back, so me seeking revenge is pointless. The Princess Bride revenge arc ends with Inigo Montoya saying, there's nothing you can do to bring my loved one back, so there's nothing that can save you. Now that's good writing. I can't believe it. You played us like a fiddle. Oh, please. Fiddles are hard to play. I played you like the kazoos you are. In trance recently, not by I can fix him or I can make him worse, but the something deeply wrong with him and I want to be around as a spectator when the car crash inevitably happens dynamic. That's a good one. I waited too long to read the sequel and now I can't even remember the characters. A novel by me. I read the whole series in less than two days and now can't separate the events of individual books. The thrilling sequel. That urge to climb the rooftop of your house. Where does that come from? The gargoyle instinct. Unquenchable desire to be the protag in an indie film about teenage disillusionment. All of my problems are at ground level. La da 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 da. <laughs>